Back at my mom's house, and we're gonna be showing you guys how to make tortas ahogadas. Tortas ahogadas a mi estilo. All right, today on Orozco's Kitchen, we're gonna be making this pork, and we're gonna start with some pork lard, and we have this boneless pork butt. So make sure you get it skinless as well. Add some garlic to your pork, add some salt, and we will be cooking this on a stovetop today, guys, and a skillet. Add some black pepper as well and you're gonna cook these five minutes per side then add some vinegar to soften up that pork as well now we're gonna remove all the pork from the pan once removed from the pan let's go ahead and foil it on both sides and we're gonna be throwing this back into the oven at 400 degrees and we're gonna keep it there for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna drop it to 350 for 60 minutes and then we're going to uncover it and let it cook for 20 minutes to evaporate some of that juice and we're going to remove some of the juice at this point as well and we're going to add some coke this will caramelize that pork and give it a nice coating when we start to braise it so we're going to braise it for 30 more minutes at 350 degrees all right guys so we're gonna toast up some chiles this is gonna be for the beans we're throwing a little bit of lard in there and we're also gonna toast the chiles for the sauce for the tortas hogadas but since we have the pan on we're gonna go ahead and just toast all of them together and we're gonna leave these two for the beans all right so we're gonna remove the chiles and we're gonna put it into our blender so we're gonna go ahead and boil these tomatoes it's six of them we're gonna start making our salsa once the skin is loose then we know that these tomatoes are all done we're gonna add two bay leaves to the mixture we're gonna add some garlic cloves three of them all right guys so we have our chiles in the blender and we have our spices here we're gonna add to the blender Orégano, media cucharita. Orégano. Media cucharita de mejorana. 10 pimientas. Black pepper. Y 10 pimientas gordas. O pimientón, como le llamen. Big black pepper. Y un comino. Un una cumin. cucharita de sésamo y de oh, seis semillas de jonjolí. Y vamos a agregar todo a la licuadora para molerlo. All right, guys. All the spices are in. También lo vamos a poner. Consomé, una cucharita de consomé de pollo. A little bit of consomé. Y un poquito de vinagre, muy poquito, como unas dos cucharitas, un chorrito. I'm gonna put a little bit of white vinegar. That's it. All right, so the tomatoes are done. We're gonna have, pull them off the water. And we're gonna peel the skin before we throw them into the blender. All right, so we're gonna take the bay leaves out. We're not gonna cook these. You can uh, throw these away now. We're gonna put two cups of water for the salsa. And we threw our garlic cloves in there already as well. Este, le quito los pellejos para no colar la salsa. Ah. So you gotta take the skin off of the tomato so you don't have to strain it later. That's the whole reasoning. All right, it's ready to blend. Hasta que quede bien molidito. <laughs> At this point, we're gonna pickle some red onion and we're gonna chop it and put some salt. We're gonna add some lemon and we're gonna add some white vinegar as well. All right, so our salsa is purified. We went ahead and blended it again. Since the chiles weren't boiled, we went ahead and made sure that it was finally, finally blended and salsa is ready to go. And we're only using one salsa. Some traditional recipes use two. We just like to use one. It's the way my mom likes to make it. So with these bolillos, they're not as hard as other bolillos uh, that you're used to using. So if we put butter on them, they'll harden up. And uh, especially with tortas hogadas, it's gonna take a lot of salsa. So we don't want them to get soggy as we're eating them. So this is a way of crunching them up. These are gonna go back into the oven to toast up. Man, those carnitas look good. All right, so our total cook time on these was two hours and 20 minutes. Now we're gonna place all these carnitas on this white plate and start making our sandwich. Oh yeah. Look how tender they are. And they look juicy. 
se desbarata bien fácil, si ¿Sí? se fijan, miren, con el puro tenedor se... Están... It looks so soft. Suavecitas y están doraditas. I want this piece. <laughs> mm, that's good. We're ready to make our tortas. Let's start with the first one. So we're gonna start off with the beans, the refried beans. My mom's gonna open it up. And like we said, we're just gonna put a little bit of refried beans. And the reason it's important to put the beans is because the carnitas will stick to the beans and the carnitas won't fall out of the torta. So that's just a mega tip right there. We already shredded some of the carnitas. We're gonna add it to the torta now. And I said torta. And this is a massive torta right here. Look at that. You can hear the crunch from the bread because we did toast it in the oven. We're gonna put some of that red onions right on top. They're already ready to go. They've been pickling and we have our sauce. We got our ladle here. Put a scoop of uh, salsa inside and then on top of the bread. There you have it guys, torta hogada. All right, guys, we're gonna give this torta hogada a try now. Let's give this thing a taste. Mmm, so good. So my mom makes this salsa diablada. It's like really spicy sauce. You wanna add extra chile? Could I add some here? Ooh. So if you don't like to get messy, here's another way of eating it. You can put the sauce on the side, build your sandwich, do a half sandwich or a full sandwich, and then add your salsa diablada, of course. Add a little bit of that. And that's one way of doing it. You can just do a little dunk. And for every bite, you have some juice. Okay. Mm. 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 